This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Norway and Russia are big winners from Europe's gas price rally as they benefit from volatility after the European Union forced their gas producers years ago to shift away from steady, long-term contracts, according to sources, analysts and data. Benchmark European gas prices have soared 300% so far this year with demand rocketing as economies recover from COVID-19 lockdowns and supply struggling to keep pace due to repairs and sliding gas investment amid a drive towards renewable power. The price surge comes two decades after the EU liberalised its gas market, prompting a shift to more short-term, flexible contracts based on prices for gas traded on exchanges or hubs. Roiled by widening power curbs that have disrupted industrial operations, Chinese commodity producers and manufacturers may finally be getting some relief. Beijing's top economic planner, the National Development and Reform Commission, said on Friday it will work to resolve the power shortages that have plagued production since June and have intensified in recent weeks as ambitious new measures to rein in emissions kicked in. It singled out the gas-dependent fertilizer sector as being particularly hard hit and called on the country's main energy producers to fulfill their full supply contracts to fertilizer makers. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Asian liquefied natural gas, LNG, prices surged by about 10% this week as demand continues to rise in the region despite higher prices and amid a supply crunch. The average LNG price for November delivery into Northeast Asia LNG as was estimated at about $26.50 to $27 per metric million British thermal units, MMBTU, up at least $2 from the previous week, industry sources said. The post-COVID recovery in some places has been fast, which is pushing up demand, while there are some supply issues in several places, which is causing a crunch, a Singapore-based trader said adding that prices are expected to rise even higher during winter when demand for heating peaks. India's crude oil imports rose to a three-month peak in August, rebounding from a near one-year low hit in July, as refiners stocked up to boost runs in expectation of higher demand around the festival season. Crude oil imports last month rose 15.8% versus July and were also 3.1% higher than a year ago at 17.39 million tonnes. Data on the website of the Petroleum Planning and Analysis Cell, PPAC, showed on Friday. Last month's increase in imports came despite a monthly fall in domestic fuel consumption and refiners' crude oil throughput dropping to its lowest in 10 months in August. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Tin prices rocketed to all-time highs on Friday on persistent supply issues and low inventories, although uncertainty regarding China's Evergrande kept a lid on metals prices. Benchmark tin on the London Metal Exchange rose to a record $36,830 a tonne, and was up 3.5% at $36,700 by 16.10 GMT. Prices for the metal have been fueled by supply disruptions in major producing countries and booming demand for electronics, where the metal is used for soldering to connect components. Gold prices rose on Friday due to a subdued dollar and as investors avoided riskier assets because of China's Evergrande saga but looming interest rate hikes slowed bullion's advance. Spot gold was 0.4% higher at $1,750 per ounce by 1.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time but still on course for a third consecutive week of falls. U.S. gold futures settled up 0.1% to $1,751.70. Although gold recovered some ground after Thursday's 1% fall, OANDA analyst Craig Erlam expected gold to weaken again. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. A surge in rapeseed prices this autumn will generate more rapeseed sowing in leading European rapeseed producers France, Germany and Britain, experts said on Friday. But poor weather means reductions are possible in Poland. Prices for rapeseed, Europe's most important oilseed for edible oil and biodiesel, have risen sharply on concern about tight global supplies, especially after estimates of Canada's crop were cut. 
That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.